the syntax is kind of weird, first of all. And second of all, like you were saying, we've now hit the three strike rule with our um, du with duplication. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, we, you know, this is kind of irritating. So there's a bunch of ways you'd extract it, but from learnings that we've had working on a bunch of React apps, uh, we've actually created a cool thing called the React Render Builder. Um, and we're going to show you how to use it right now. The first you want to extend. Yep, you got it. a React Render Builder, which gives us some nice little functionality, mostly these four helper methods, and we'll experiment with at least one of them, if not two of them. Um, but that gives us access to some new functions. What we're doing here is now we're extending any other kind of provider that we want to attach to our elements. Correct, Cody? Yes. So we have a to-do provider. So maybe this is a with to-do. Mm -hmm. And it's a builder pattern. So we want to return this. And there is a simple add element. And yep. this takes in a provider function because we have to pass children through. That's how providers work. So we get children passed into this. And we simply want to say the to-do provider with children and children. And then close the element. And to make it clear too, this is the same thing that's being written on line 20, 28. We just call it children just because we're not passing any other props. So just be really clear. Yep. It is exactly the same thing as the wrappers written right now. Yeah. So you see, this is wrapping in this way, but you also notice too in our these tests. Yeah. We actually wrap it in this way. Okay. So I have this. So now what? So now let's move one test to it, and then we'll kind of just show it from here. So let's start off with this first test: returns default from provider. So um, it's very easy to just change render hook to it. So we new up our new class, new render builder. Right here. Yeah, you can just do it right there. Yeah, why not? New render builder. What to do? And say dot render hook. Yep, and now you can get rid of the wrapper thing because it doesn't want that. And all we care about is passing in the hook because we said we wanted the wrapper with to do here. And we see wrapper is no longer used. So let's remove that and let's run this test. And it passes. It passes just fine. Look at that. All right. So I think I want to do that all three times. Yep. And let's run those tests. This seems like a great commit point. Yeah. And as you're writing the commit message, if we look at it, wait, we still have duplication. So there's actually something great we can do right here, which is something we did a lot with this render builder, which is notice we're, we're doing that same line in all three places. Why don't we extract that? Yeah, just like that.